Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have small houses, we have old vehicles, and of course, map of Yugoslavia. Right, right, right. 30 to 35 mods released in the last seven days. This is the something that caught my eye, and uh, hopefully you're gonna enjoy them as well. Uh, let's get cracking. Pythagoras 991 and Railroad Station Krakow uh, Washov. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this. Railroad Station based on an actual building in Tratsov. Tratsov. <laughs> it's Krakow. Uh, has four versions so with uh, two to five tracks, two thousand to five thousand places to for passengers waiting for trains or buses. The platform layout is not hundred percent prototypical. Da -da -da, known bugs. Yada yada yada. You need to go and read about this. Anyway, this is the four stations that we have: four, three, and two being the smallest one. Uh, it's iconic uh, train station in Krakow. And the yeah, there's nothing to say about it. We're gonna compare it to vanilla. It doesn't take a lot of space. That's kind of surprising and positive, I have to say. Usually these train stations take way more space. That means that longer trains will be sticking out. But uh, for building purposes, it's not gonna be so difficult. So let's compare it to the vanilla ones. If we go to our railroad infrastructure and then go for the citizens, and we will have the here we go. Uh, five uh, one thousand people, ten thousand rubles for two thousand people. It's twenty thousand rubles, so definitely not a cheaty mod, at least according to this uh, large train station. Two and a half thousand, thirty thousand rubles. Uh, yeah, this one is for four for five thousand. It's more expensive. Sorry, for three thousand people, it's more expensive. Anyway, for more details, link in the description of the video. Internet eighteen and. Esterreich Tavern. Uh, uh, Gott der Helte, Gott beschütze unser Kaiser, unser Land. <laughs> this is what Ternet was uh, writing, uh, usually with his mods. Greetings and salutations to you all, dear player. Today I'm happy to present a new tavern building in, uh, inspired by opulence and the charm, opulence and the charm of the uh, Austrian Empire. The tavern is modeled after a real building in Konigstadt, Bohemia, known as the Old Post, which tra uh, transitioned from an actual post office uh, to a fine tavern by the mid-19th century uh, in the game. It serves as a both pub and a restaurant with a staff of six capable of accommodating up to uh, 48 guests perfectly little building if you live in the central europe you have one of these definitely there my hometown small hometown has similar buildings to these and they are quite quite iconic and beautiful this this is a keeper and of course my favorite mod this mod monday right let's compare to the vanilla ones we have the if we go to a pub section we're gonna go and try the alcohol and the pubs that would be maybe over here that's uh, 4600 rubles uh, it's a little bit more expensive than vanilla so definitely not a cheaty mode if you're looking something like this link in the description of the video alexander tarasov tarasov and lip hair are uh, 974 demolition uh excavator with the demolition equipment right so we're gonna compare this by the way i'm gonna show you the uh steam uh, images i will not demonstrate it in the game because i don't have anything built that can be demolished and uh we're gonna demonstrate how it looks with the pictures by the way this is extremely long arm that when in operation it extends the arm really really long and uh, i personally saw a couple of times this in operation it was absolutely magnificent now we first we're gonna just compare it to the vanilla models do we have anything in the excavators We have vanilla excavator here and here. These are actually all three of them are way, way, way cheaper than this one. This one is 2008 until present in West Germany. Uh, the other ones are a little bit smaller and operating. Yeah, they're not even they're, they're not even that much better. They are like 50% better than the uh, excavator is seven, which is vanilla, and it's three times the price. So definitely not cheaty mod. And here you go. This is how it looks deployed. Extremely, extremely long arm. I actually 
uh, was viewing this one working on a big concrete silo in the middle of the city where I went to college, so it was absolutely magnificent to see this beast. Anyway, for more details, link in the description of the video. This six pack by Storm, you have a description in Russian, I believe, and then we have the English one, this dash five. Okay, it says this this six, maybe it's, a, oh no, there's several of them. A medium duty truck uh, produced from 1933-1948 at the automobile plant named after uh, Stalin, uh, I.V. Stalin, uh, Yosef Viseronovich Stalin, uh, U.I.Z.I.S. and Ural Z.I.S. Uh, more than 600,000 Z.I.S. 5 vehicles and various modifications were produced. Z.I.S. 6, this 6, so at medium duty truck, uh, 21,000 vehicles were produced. It was produced between 33 and 41, available in the game from 33 to 48. Of course, if you just leave it unlocked for all, uh, all settings for for vehicles to be allowed, the whole duration of your gameplay, you you will you can buy them at any point. There's more uh, there, there's more description of these vehicles, but we're gonna go and check them in game. As you can see here, this is ZIS, this six six. This is uh, six, and then we have. Yeah, they're all Z6. Why does it say five? Maybe I'm. Maybe it was just a typo. Uh, probably Z5 was a previous version that is not presented here. Of course, these double ones are absolutely gorgeous for as a farming vehicles. So I would love to use them in an early game. If I ever play early game, this is gonna be go-to vehicle for me. Seven and a half, seven point two tons of crops can carry. Absolutely gorgeous. And for your open imports, steel and other stuff, nine ton capacity, eight point one prefabs. The yeah, 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 all that good stuff of course we have the uh, vehicle here for concrete this is a concrete mixer as you can see a small version of a concrete mixer only four tons and we have this is a covered hull without the extra carriage extra space and then we have extra trailer and the cover hull normal one wait there what was the difference between these two same capacity Okay, I don't see the difference. This one is uh, P I P A R M Parm. I don't know what. That, yeah. Oh, well, because it has uh, just a different. Uh, it looks differently on the outside. Unfortunately, oh, they do have skins. Yeah, my bad. They do have skins, but they're all in military. Whoa, there's not all military. Okay, we have. Then okay, I cannot read what it says on the side there. Let me see if we can find other ones here with uh, no only only military and similar. Uh, designs of these vehicles. Let's try this one one more time. No, oh no, that's it. The, this one doesn't come. This one doesn't come so colorful. Anyway, uh, how does it compare to vanilla vehicles? Let's uh, quickly check it. Let's go for concrete mixers. Let's like compare them. In this case, we have concrete mixers three thousand rubles compared to vanilla it's seven and a half. This is more than twice the price, and they have only third of capacity. Uh, so yeah, definitely not a cheaty mod. Link in the description of the video. T600 underscore mod and the oil distribution cargo station storage. Oil distribution silo cargo station storage for cargo storage stations. Two with 2000 uh, storage. One of those with rail, one with 4000, one with 6000. Nice size and fast loading. Six uh, loading slots for trucks. Okay. Well, a lot of stuff there, it doesn't make a lot of sense. First of all, uh, this one has four, and this one has six, 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 and this one has only three, at least up here, so. And their capacities are uh, 6,000, 2,000, two, why is this one two? These, these two are 2,000 each, but this one has four things. This one does have rail connections. Okay, this is a little bit wonky. These these should be two thousand. This one should be four thousand. Ah, correct me if I'm wrong. I might be, I might be doing uh, looking at something wrong here. But this one is supposed to be four thousand because it has four tanks. This one has six tanks, six thousand, and yeah, it looks like it's a little bit of a typo. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be correct. Let's sh correct it shortly. Anyway, how does it compare to the vanilla one? If we go for our pipes, we're gonna go on liquids. We have storages here. The new ones. Uh, let's compare to something 1,500 tons. That would be between first and the second one. 13,000 inch is one of these. 77. Definitely not a cheaty mod. This is way expensive, way more expensive than vanilla. It does take a little bit less space, I have to say. 
but um, capacity wise i don't know these tanks look a little bit smaller capacity than this 1500 so even volume wise it could be a little bit different this this vanilla one looks like it can hold more but anyway you that's the model link in the description of the video Jutland or Jutland and garages 1950s pack contains two garages type for two and five vehicles from Nova Huta Poland not down uh, thanks to Rob's for textures you should check his stuff out too and there's a link to Rob's stuff everybody knows Rob's stuff uh, Jutland of course makes beautiful models as well now these garages are freaking everywhere my uncle had two of them uh they're absolutely beautiful and necessity next to the railroad stations next to the residential areas next to the houses they're everywhere similar garages so like if you have car uh car dependent uh, uh, country or smaller towns that uh, can use these cars definitely something i'm gonna be building for myself these are absolutely gorgeous now can we compare these to anything i don't know if we can parking lots but they are not covered they should be more expensive than normal parking lots so yeah let's give it a go so you can see here uh, 800 rubles and 1000 rubles for five cars so what's here six cars for 400 rubles definitely not a cheaty mod fair price link in the description of the video okay vulgar duplex by mr nova duplex is a house designed for two families or four workers per building multiple buildings included per project no collisions uh, enabled uh, heating is enabled okay this is really interesting we're gonna talk about this these are quite quite common also where i come from i come from a small town but these uh, double houses or duplexes I, I even even where i live now in ireland um the two houses combined together is a common thing like half like they're different kitchen. they're not connected in whatsoever except the roof is the same this one looks a little bit different because uh looks like the same house is shared by the by two families uh, i don't know what kind of utilities is being shared but um usually where i come from they have separate entrances to the house as well so and these look like they have a single entrance okay let's talk about these a little bit i'm gonna just say for these small houses i love how they look but i hate how they function in a game uh due to the mechanics of the game how they report unemployment stuff like that. every time there's one person where at a job in this house you would get notification about issues with this house and second thing i need to double check this but pollution is it generated with these houses or not they definitely should be now the bigger ones that novo made here for 48 people these are absolutely gorgeous and i'm going to be using this in my let's place this brings the color to your town it's absolutely beautiful i would say everything over 20 i would use myself for rest of them i don't and, and over 20 it looks like this is 16 here we have four houses these rest of them are three houses just mixed um mix and match uh, of the houses but uh, they're all only three houses so these maybe these 16 people houses and these bigger ones uh, i just don't like how the reporting works in this game and uh, i think i'm gonna be using these at least myself it really reminds me back of home so yeah absolutely beautiful thingy now let's compare it to vanilla 48 people and let's check if they have a pollution enabled so if we go over here the first ones do we have them Ooh, really they're gonna be report they're gonna be here uh nope this is volgar stalinkas why don't we have them uh let's compare it first to the vanilla 48 people the price tag uh of vanilla with 48 people let's see if we can find something similar we have 40 people here five thousand rubles but that's a high rise uh these houses i think they should be a little bit more expensive six thousand here seven thousand here seven and a half thousand uh, six thousand so that's about it uh let me see if i can find these now in the rest of the mods so these are the mods as you can see here all the houses are presented here and yes they generate pollution this is absolutely beautiful because it's quite 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 realistic some of them uh, the bigger ones here the, that will be the biggest ones they have uh, way more pollution 0 0.17 tons per year that's significant and they cost 5,000 rubles okay they could cost a little bit more maybe uh, than the resident no 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 residential buildings would cost more they just uh, take less space so yeah definitely beautiful 
beautiful thing, quite realistic in price. If you want to know more, link in the description of the video. Kan Kan Sale or Kan Kan Sale and improved Yugoslavia, roads and rail only. Od Vardara pa do Triglava. This is the uh, homeland where Liki was born in Yugoslavia, today is Croatia, but in Yugoslavia. So Triglav would be in the western part, uh, in these Alps, the Slovenian Alps. It would be somewhere, would it be even here, the highest one? It doesn't show, uh, does it show the names? No, not really. We have Ljubljana over there. Then we have the Trstjanaš over here, the, this is Trieste city, and then we have Istria, we have big islands of uh, in Croatia, Krk and Tres, and then we have the Split, the second biggest city, then we go to my favorite city in uh, the Balkans, that would be Sarajevo, the best food ever, and then we go north towards uh, uh, Slavonia or continental Croatia, and this is Uliki's hometown around here, Županja, and Osijek where he went to college and then we go eastern towards Belgrade and then Kragujevac where military industry was based and then we have Čačak, uh, Kruškovac, Niš, Leskovac, Leskovac, Kivoz that would be the uh, barbecue Lesk from Leskovac worldwide known and then we have Pristina and south towards the Soviet border of Albania and then we have NATO border. The borders are absolutely gorgeous because they are quite quite realistic as it was there. Okay, let's go for the map and let's see what uh, what we get. We get Yugoslavia, you have border with um, Greece here, that would be NATO border and then we have border with Austria and Italy, that would be NATO border as well. Hungary, uh, Romania and Bulgaria are so and Albania are Soviet borders and there you go. Uliki's hometown is here, capital of Yugoslavia, Belgrade, was between uh, Danube River and Sava River, that would be right here, and yada yada yada. Uh, rail infrastructure is quite extensive, but I don't know, oh this is a road, I wouldn't say there was no rail infrastructure, uh, rail only goes to split, no further uh, south, but anyway, absolutely gorgeous. Resources, a lot, a lot of coal, a lot of iron, of course most of it is based in Bosnia, in the hilly uh, parts of Bosnia and Serbia being the biggest republic and then we have uh, oil fields and uh, this could be better, yes around Ivanićgrad here there is oil and there's also Jelotovci in the Slavonia here and there's some in the eastern part of uh, Vojvodina and then uranium is in Slovenia and eastern Serbia and Macedonia in the way, all the way in the south, the real Macedonia not part of Greece <laughs> and then then we have aluminium bauxite. Of course, there is a, a light metal uh, industries in Šibenik city in Croatia and a lot, a lot, a lot in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Absolutely quite realistic. I think there's a lot of coal, maybe even too much. I think the quality of coal should be lowered a little bit, but uh, quite, quite, quite realistic because Yugoslavia has decent amount of coal as well. I'm gonna leave it here, I'm gonna say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this one, if you did press the like button, if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section, let me know what you think, like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it, and if you want to support the channel, I'll have the description of the video. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one, bye bye.